Space is a really dark and eerie place to go to and takes immense preparation physically and mentally in order to endure that kind of change from earth to space. For example, imagine not being able to sleep on your own bed and having to sleep in a space shuttle when there's no gravity. Um, astronauts have come back mentally permanently changed from going to earth even family members have mentioned oh i've seen a change on for example an astronaut and they say they don't come back the same and it's a very sad thing we see astronauts as these big heroes and they really are they're immense heroes but we don't really see the inner workings of what it takes to go into space see things come back and then people expect for you to be the same which is not true it's not true at all and most of it is because of sleep many astronauts do get sleep deprivation because sleep isn't the same in space as it is on earth on earth we have gravity on earth we get to sleep on our beds we get to sleep on a pillow nothing on top of us in space astronauts have to be strapped down weighted blankets strapped down or tied to the wall in order for them to not flow around while they're sleeping and many astronauts have also said that it's extremely hard to catch some z's if you could say um up and on outer space it's they can't sleep at night and imagine no sleep and then going throughout the day on a space mission sleep deprivation is caused by depression and depression is caused by the feeling of isolation and the missing of loved ones because loved ones are far away on earth while astronauts are floating around in an endless space and another cause of sleep deprivation is hallucinations for example there is a, a russian space shuttle that was going on to seven months in the space mission and they reported a, a foul smell and it was forced to land back on earth and when the russian space shuttle landed back on earth um inspectors came inspected the space shuttle and it turns out there is no smell there was nothing foul there was everything was normal and a doctor actually concluded that it was they were hallucinating a good example of an astronaut who suffered sleep deprivation and depression would be cosmonaut valentin lebedev he mentioned he was totally over the space mission at a certain point. He started counting down the days until the space mission was over. He also started to become really irritated by his fellow crewmates when they would ask him if he was fine. As well as he could not stare out the window anymore. He could not view space anymore. He was totally over the mission completely. His story made national news because it was proof that astronauts do come back differently and their mental health is not the same and it's permanent damage another great example of an astronaut who suffered from um psychological issues and psychiatric issues would be lisa nowak she had a love triangle going on with another male astronaut and an astronaut by the name of colleen shipman lisa nowak drove 90 miles to orlando florida to stalk colleen shipman and plan her attack on shipman and lisa nowak also took with her a crowbar and a bat in order for her to assault shipman lisa nowak was then charged and she is in jail right now because of a attempted assault which is very sad because it was concluded that these issues resulted from space space made her go crazy another great example of an astronaut with sleep deprivation and depression would be thomas marshburn he mentioned that it was extremely hard to sleep in the space shuttle at first and he quoted going to space is the most dramatic thing you can do to your body besides being born which is crazy to think and he's well after a couple months on the space shuttle but he said at first it was extremely hard to sleep he would take five minute naps just floating around the space shuttle in conclusion space is really dark 
and horrible and it takes a lot of courage so salute to all those heroes that have gone to space just for their research and for our state of mind of knowing what space really is and what's really out there beyond the earth.